Thanks for your company and welcome back to the news. In tonight's MTV News special report by Fabian Hakelitz, we're going to take a look at how the ill-fated airline's PNG-8 aircraft crashed in Medang. 28 passengers lost their lives in this tragedy in what was described in history as Papua New Guinea's worst aviation disaster. And it's shown in this animation produced by the Papua New Guinea Air Investigations Commission. It was on the Black Thursday afternoon, October 13, 2011, when this airline's PNG bombarded DHC-8-103 registered P2MCG crash landed in Madang. The aircraft was conducting regular public transport flight from Port Mosby to Madang via Lee. On board were three flight crew, the captain, first officer, flight attendant and 29 passengers. The Papua New Guinea Accidents Investigation Commission has finally released the aircraft incident report after 32 months. Please note the narration is from the animation based on information sourced from the black box by investigators. The autopilot couldn't be used because the yaw damper was unserviceable, so the aircraft had to be hand flown by pilots. At Natsab, Mike Charlie Juliet refueled and departed with the pilot in command as the handling pilot. Once in air, the flight diverted right off the planned track and avoided thunderstorms and clouds. The captain reported communications between Medang Tower and an aircraft in the vicinity indicated to descend below the cloud and was looking mainly outside the cockpit. Because of the storm, there was some urgency to descend beneath the cloud base to position for a right base for runway 07 at Medang. Medang Tower, Mike, Charlie, Juliet, 2, 4, DME, passing 13,000 on descent estimating, Medang 1, 6, negative ATIS. Mike, Charlie, Juliet, Medang Tower, RC, again your level? Passing 12,300 this time at R23, DME, Mike, Charlie, Juliet. Mike, Charlie, Juliet, Roger, runway 07, our wind is bearing between the east and northeasterly at uh, 5 knots maximum, 10 QNH, 1009. Uh, rain showers currently overhead and um, to the west from the east. Visibility reducing to uh, 1000 meters. Uh, report 5 DME. Report 5 DME. Mike, Charlie, Juliet. On this route, the descent to Medan was steep because of the need to remain above the Finisterre ranges. Although the aircraft was descending steeply, propellers were at a cruise setting of 900 revolutions per minute. Neither pilot noticed the airspeed increasing towards the maximum operating speed. The pilot in command reported afterwards he was distracted by the weather. The propeller blades angle changed from forward to better or reverse range. The tremendous speed drove the engine's turbines past the maximum permitted revolutions per minute. It's usually damaged the left-hand engine before it stopped the right one too. This caused a big bang, noise that was also heard by villagers. The emergency caught both pilots by surprise, with confusion and shock on the flight deck. On the captain's order, the first officer made a mayday call to Medang Tower and gave the GPS position remaining in a lengthy radio exchange with Medang Tower for 63 seconds. Medang Tower, Mayday, 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 Mike, Charlie, Juliet, uh, double engine failure and uh, we are making an emergency landing. Mike, Charlie, Juliet, Roger, copy that, confirm you are able to make it to the field. Negative, 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 we'll probably be ditching. Roger, confirm along the coastline. Affirm, affirm. Mike, Charlie, Juliet. Roger, the approximate coordinates of your uh, ditching? Uh, we are currently at 14 miles uh, to the east of you at this stage. According to the report, the flight crew didn't conduct emergency checklists and procedures, but instead, their attention turned to a forced landing was to be made. Roger, could you give us uh, the approximate coordinate? 
the aircraft descended at a high speed with the wind milling left propeller causing extra drag. The asymmetry between the wind milling left propeller and the feathered right propeller made the aircraft difficult to control. The average rate of descent between the onset of the emergency and arrival at the crash site was 2,500 feet per minute and at one point exceeded 6,000 feet per minute. The first officer had said the aircraft would be ditched, although after a brief discussion, the captain subsequently decided to make a forced landing in the mouth of the Guabe River, approximately 800 feet above sea level and 72 seconds before the impact, both engines shut down. The captain decided to land beside the river, but it wasn't readily visible from air. The plane crashed landed on the impacted terrain at 140 knots, with flaps and the landing gear retracted. The tail was impacted first, consumed by a fuel-fed fire. Fabian Hakalitz, National MTV News.